Hey guys, this is Vidi with MaxTech, and today we're going to be playing some games on both the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. We're actually going to play some Fortnite, some Vainglory, and some Modern Combat 5 because each of those games support 60 FPS on both of the phones. The main purpose of this video is to test the gaming performance on each of these phones and mainly the battery life. So we've set both phones to 100% battery life, we've turned off Bluetooth, we've turned off all the background apps, we turned off high performance mode on the Note 10 Plus, and we've set the brightness to the exact same level on each phone by looking at the zebra stripes on our camera. And this is the exact same test we ran on the iPhone XS Max, so after the test is done we're going to see the difference between the battery life on the XS Max and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and of course the Note 10 Plus. So let's get right into the game. All right, so here here we are on the Note 10 Plus. Let's get into the settings right here. Show you guys we're at high, 100% resolution, 60 FPS. These are the settings we'll be playing on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and let's get into a game. We are now in game, and definitely feel that 60 FPS. A little bit of dropped frames while moving, but still, it's impressive. Finally, we get 60 FPS. Display is nice and bright, really colorful. Whoa! So far, so smooth. So I've noticed that with 60 FPS, the performance is pretty good so far, but there are some drop frames every now and then. You can kind of see them. Not very much, but just like that. You guys see that? Whoa, Fortnite just crashed. So we're back in game, and I think it's frozen. I mean, it's just stuck here. There it goes, whoa. It's kind of late. The heck, it's like, it keeps touching this somehow. It's like hitting this by itself. So far the gameplay looks pretty smooth, but it almost seems like the display has dimmed a little bit since we started. <laughs> you see that? I just blew him up. <laughs> so I'm definitely starting to feel the back of the phone heat up a little bit. Not as much as the iPhone XS Max, but now that the Note 10 Plus is playing at 60 FPS, it's definitely getting more hot and I think the display is getting dimmer. So the really weird thing on the Note 10 Plus is that you're getting a lot more sound from this speaker because it's definitely louder than the uh, earpiece speaker. All right, here we are in Fortnite on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let's head into the settings. We're on high, 60 FPS, show FPS is on, just like on the Note 10, and let's get into game. All right, so right away I can tell that the display is smaller than on the Note 10 Plus, and of course you get this notch right here that you don't get on the Note. You get that little cutout on the Note that definitely does not look as bad as this. And of course, it feels amazing, super smooth, 60 FPS. Oh wow, uh, so basically before on the Tennis Max there would be times like getting off the bus that you might see a couple of drop frames, but to be honest right here, I did not see a single drop frame ever since I got into this game. Oh, I'll see a guy, let's chase him. Hey, stop running. Oh, friendo, come on, man. Man, I've gotta say the gameplay's Perfect. I'm also absolutely loving the speakers as well. They get so loud and one thing I'm noticing is that they're very balanced between the top and bottom speaker, unlike the Note where most of the sound is coming from here, the earpiece speaker on the Note is really, really weak. Come on, yes! I almost died! Woo. Oh no! 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 Come on, man. All right, so I'm really impressed by the 11 Pro Max because at this time, on the Tennis Max, the display was dimming a lot. So I'm really impressed by the efficiency of the A13 chip. What's up, brother? Woo! Boom! Destroyed. If you can't notice the difference in performance, you'll definitely notice the difference in display brightness because the 11 Pro is so bright and it's not dimming. And I thought it was just a glitch on the Note 10, but I kept accidentally going into build mode, but I realized it was actually the edge on the Note 10 Plus that was making me go into build mode all the time. You don't get that on the iPhone. All right, so now we're playing Vainglory on the Note 10 Plus, and now we get 60 FPS on this game. What's up, boy? Let's go. Yo, got him. Got him! So 60 FPS in Vainglory actually feels pretty nice. Definitely better than before. Oh no! Woo! Got him. This guy can't even touch me. Gotta say, this is too easy. Oh, he's coming. 
Yes, got them. This game is a blast, and man, it feels perfectly smooth on this phone. No issues on the Note 10 Plus, feels amazing. Only issue is that you can easily block the speaker, I've noticed. That was easy, look at that score, 6-0. So far, Vainglory has been playing perfectly on the Note 10 Plus. It's not really getting hot or anything, it's just working very well at 60 frames per second. All right, here we are in Vainglory on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and let's test it out. So just like on the Note 10, feels really good. Woo! Gotcha. Man, this is kind of easy. Feels really smooth, just like on the Note 10 Plus. No issues at all with that. 60 FPS feels amazing on this game as well. No problem, bro. Boom. Let's get this dude. Got him. Just don't eat me. Woo! Easy. All right, this was really fun. That was easy. Look at that. 5-0. So basically, I've noticed that this phone can handle basically any game you throw at it because the A12 Bionic handled any game you could throw at it. So this is even better with even more graphics performance. And the Note 10 Plus, of course, is similar to the Tennis Max from last year with the A12 Bionic chip. And here we are in Modern Combat 5 on the Note 10 Plus. Let's see how it plays. Don't kill me, bro. Look at that. Watch me nade this dude, too. Aw, man. Be honest, this isn't the most graphically demanding game, but it's definitely pretty fun. Feels really smooth so far. Get this dude, yeah. Woo, gotcha. Okay, so that's how I aim. How do I reload? This game's definitely fun, but uh, you gotta get competitive players to play against, because this is kind of easy. Let's go, man. Look how easy this is, man. This is nothing. These are like all bots, man. They suck. So far, this game is obviously playing really good as well. Feels really smooth. No issues at all. There you go, guys. It's been an hour playing on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And we're at 80% battery life. Wow. 80% battery life. That's actually really good. All right, guys. Here we are on the iPhone 11 Pro Max playing Modern Combat 5. Let's do this. All right, Tommy. Oh, Silver League. All right, so these guys are definitely not bots. <laughs> these guys know what they're doing. Got him. And just like on the Note 10 Plus, this phone feels amazing on this game, 60 FPS. Feels awesome. Whoa, man, that guy's good. Okay, I'll get him, I'll get him. Got him. Yo, stop running, man. That keeps running. Got him. Yep, got him. Oh, John, are you kidding, man? All right, I'll get him. One of these days, man. <laughs> Johnny, what's up? So, feels great on the iPhone. It's not hot at all. The back feels really cool in this game. Definitely an easier game. All right, guys, it's been an hour on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and let's check the battery life. We are at 83%, 83% on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. That is really impressive. All right, guys, so we just finished playing one hour on each phone, and to my surprise, the iPhone 11 Pro Max was at 83% battery life, while the Note 10 Plus was only at 80%. It's very close, but I was actually expecting it to go the other way around because the Note 10 Plus has a 4300 milliamp hour battery compared to 3969 on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So this has a larger battery and we played for an hour on both phone, equal brightness, Bluetooth off, everything the same. That is really, really shocking. And this improvement is awesome because we did the same test on the iPhone XS Max and we're only able to get 69% battery life after an hour instead of 83 on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And another improvement on the iPhone 11 Pro Max is that it didn't get as hot as the Tennis Max from last year while playing Fortnite at 60 FPS, which seems to be probably the most demanding game that I can currently find on the App Store. So I'm really, really impressed by the 11 Pro Max. Now between these two phones, they both did an excellent job playing at 60 FPS in Vainglory and Modern Combat 5. No real gameplay differences there. Now in Fortnite, we did notice more dropped frames 
on the Note 10 Plus. I'm not sure if that's just the Android software side of it or it's the difference in power between these two, but the iPhone 11 Pro Max was able to play each game flawlessly. No issues at all. So let's answer the original question, which phone is better for gaming? And this time I honestly think it is now the iPhone 11 Pro Max just because of that awesome battery life and excellent performance through any game we tried and that we're not getting dimming like we did on the 10s max extreme dimming that we used to get from overheating we don't see that anymore so it seems like this is the best package overall the best smartphone for gaming in 2019 and going into 2020. thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed that video if you're not already subscribed click that circle above and check out some of those two videos right over there thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video